Hi everyone, it's Andrea Vall here, and I want to talk a little bit about Facebook contests. I get questions all the time about how you run a Facebook contest that complies with their rules and uh, making sure that you're also getting some good engagement with those contests. So let's just dive into uh, uh, the types of contests and then talk about Facebook rules and then some tips on how to make your contest really successful. So there are two types of Facebook contests. One is known as kind of a timeline contest where you just have people enter via commenting on the post or doing something uh, with your page. It could be messaging the page, it could be posting on the page directly or posting on a post specifically. So that happens on your timeline and you're not asking for any email entry or anything like that. It's basically something that happens on your Facebook page. The other type of Facebook contest is kind of an app contest or a contest where you have someone enter via some type of application where they have to give you your their email address. Now this could be something that resides on Facebook with a specific Facebook app. There's lots of apps out there that run Facebook contests and, and the benefit of that is you're getting their email address with that and you can use something like Heyo or Shortstack or Woobox or Agora Pulse. There's lots of different uh, contest apps out there that are really great for doing this. Um, or you could direct someone to your website and have them enter there. Now that's just kind of basically sending them somewhere else to go enter. Um, so with any of these contests, there's a few rules that you have to abide by within Facebook in addition to making sure you're following the rules of any country or, or state that you're operating in. So make sure you know those local rules as well. But to comply with Facebook's rules, you have to have something that states that the contest is not sponsored by Facebook and you have to make sure that you're not requiring someone to do something against the rules. So that some of the big rules that they have are making sure that you're not asking someone to share that post or share the contest is, uh, as part of their entry. So if you see a contest out there that says, um, you know, share this to get an entry or to be entered as a requirement, that type of contest is actually violating Facebook's rules and could be in danger of that page have being shut down or um, other things that could possibly happen there. I've seen pages get shut down because of their violating the rules of the contest. Um, the, the other thing that you can not do is just say that anyone who likes the page is entered to win. That's a violation of Facebook's rules. You can require someone to like the page as part of an entry. So you could say, comment on this post and like our page to be entered. That's acceptable. You can require a like to be part of an entry, but not the only method of entry. So that's a big distinction because some people think that you can't ask someone to like your page at all. That is not correct. You can ask someone to like your page as long as there's another way of entering. And the reason is, if you, if you have anyone who likes your page be entered to win, there are people who liked your page maybe last year who didn't really realize they were entering a contest when they did so. So you draw a winner and someone really didn't enter your contest, they just liked your page. So you have to make sure that people have indicated in some way that they uh, are, are entering. Now, one other note with timeline contests is you have to be very careful that the contest is not happening on someone's profile in some way. So that includes doing things like um, sh uh, tagging them, tagging themselves in a photo or sharing a post like I mentioned or um, actually tagging someone else in comments has been recently uh, specified by Facebook that you cannot do for your contest entries. So I'm going to put a link to their terms in um, in the comments section just so you see that. I'm also going to post those very clearly because Facebook has 
recently kind of outlined some examples that make it even clearer than it used to be on what you can and can't do for entry into a Facebook contest. So anytime you're using an official Facebook app, such as, like I mentioned, Agora Pulse, Woobox, um, uh, Hey, oh, all those all those apps that I talked about, Tab Site is another one. They are already compliant. They have worked through the rules and made sure that they are compliant with what Facebook has outlined. So that's always good to know. They've got indications that the contest is not sponsored by Facebook in the app. And like I said, a benefit of using those types of apps is that you're going to get an email address with that. And you know that way you'll be able to follow up because one challenge with a timeline contest is that sometimes it's hard to message the winner of the contest because they've just put a comment on your page, you post them, you maybe direct message them in some way, but they don't see it because Facebook seems to hide these messages a lot, which is very frustrating. Even if you're tagging them saying, hey, you won, it can be really challenging to get through to the winner. So having an email address is a really good idea. So let's talk about some other ways to promote your contest and have a successful contest. One is to make sure you've got a really interesting prize. You know, uh, sometimes people say, oh, no one's entering my contest. Well, it's a contest that where you win a $5 coupon. That's not exciting, okay? That's boring. That's not a, that's not a prize. That's a discount. That's not fun. So have something really good that's really related to your brand, um, something special that you don't do very often, and you'll get more entries that way. Um, if it if it is can be closely related to your brand, that's a really good idea. Um, but sometimes the goal is just to get engagement, get people connected to you. Make sure you have some budget set aside to advertise your contest because that can help you get really targeted entries so that your contest is more successful. And you can tell people that it's it's uh, feel free to share your contest. That's not against the rules, but you can't make that part of your entry. So you can hopefully encourage people to, to share it, but not make that a, a requirement. So make sure that you've got some budget set aside, you've got a good prize, and then just run the contest long enough so you have some time to promote it. I would suggest for a contest with an app with a bigger prize, it, it has maybe a little bit longer time for someone to to enter. If it's something like a photo contest, then people do need a little bit longer to be able to get, get that photo. If it's a timeline contest with maybe not as big a prize, then maybe that contest can be a little bit shorter, maybe three or four days for that contest. So awesome. And uh, Susan's asking a question, so can you can you do a page like contest and every 25 people that like your page, you get a free service? No, that is actually also against the terms unless they are specifically entering in some other way. So they would have to comment on the post and then every 25th person who likes it who has also commented on the post would then be entered into that contest because again someone could just be randomly liking your page and they didn't realize that they're the 25th and uh, you know person who entered they didn't mean to enter your contest they just liked your page so you have to make it very specific that they know that they're entering a contest and then you can um, you can run it that way. So hope that was helpful. And I'm going to put some reference links here in the co in the post. And feel free to ask any follow up questions. And enjoy. Run a great contest. Talk to you later.